everyone, it's Max here. Hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm excited to show you how to make a foam RC glider from a drone receiver and transmitter. So you cannot control the direction it goes in, only the elevation and speed. But for such a basic glider like this, it does pretty well in the air. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make it. Let's get started. For the plane itself, I'm going to use some foam poster board which you can find at a dollar store. Begin by outlining the shape of the Zagi wing. The wingspan of mine is about 38 centimeters. This is how all the components will sit once they're on the wing. I'm also going to outline the place where the propeller will be spinning between. Once you've cut out your foam wing, you're also going to cut out the space in the back part of the wing where the propeller will spin. To make your aircraft even lighter, be sure to peel the paper off both sides of the wing. Cut a groove valve for your motor and make sure it's a bit wider than the motor itself so there's space for the epoxy. To get a really good aerofoil shape for your wing, what you're going to do is take something like a popsicle stick and flatten the back part as well as the front part of your plane. You can use a sharp knife if you need to. This will make the wing even more aerodynamic. And the end result should look something like this. The reason why I'm using something like epoxy instead of hot glue to secure the motor in place is because the motor gets hot enough to melt hot glue which would disorientate it and you don't want that. Since my drone receiver didn't already have a female connector soldered onto it, I'm going to do just that and it will make the connection between the receiver and the battery a lot easier. So we won't even need a switch. Now it's time to secure all the components down to the foam wing. In case you're wondering, here's the model number for the receiver so you can find it online. Now I'm going to solder two wires going from the motor to the receiver. Seems like the glider is pretty fast. Now let's make the ailerons from the back part of the wing. Bending the ailerons upwards will help the plane to get lift as it speeds up. So when the plane speeds up, it will start to lift itself up at the same time. And now we're done with the RC Zagi wing. Alright guys, that's about it for this video showing you how to make a very basic remote controlled 
foam glider using a drone receiver and transmitter. And for such a glider that has no left or right controls, it flies pretty well in the air. Also guys, one more thing. Be sure not to fly this indoors or else you can crash it into something. Like I said, it has no left or right controls. Try to fly it out in a really open space. Could even be your backyard or some sort of field. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel with the notification bell ticked. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at max.imagination. Thanks for watching, and see you next week. Peace! It's flying pretty good there. Woo.